Hey kiddos, it's bedtime with Bo and Lucy the lamb. Tonight's story is for all of you, but it was chosen with a certain little girl in mind who might just be turning four this month. And it's called Sleep Like a Tiger. It's written by Mary Logue and it's illustrated by Pamela Zagorensky. Once there was a little girl who didn't want to go to sleep, even though the sun had gone away. She told her mother, I'm not tired. She told her father, I'm just not sleepy. They nodded their heads and said she didn't have to go to sleep, but she had to put her pajamas on. She picked out her favorite pajamas that matched the night sky. I'm still wide awake, she announced. Her parents said that was fine, but she should wash her face and brush her teeth. So she did. It felt good to be nice and clean. Then, because she loved climbing into her bed, she did. Stretching her toes down under the crisp sheets, lying as still as an otter, floating in a stream. Does everything in the world go to sleep? She asked. Yes, her parents told her. Our dog is sleeping right now, curled up in a ball on the couch where he's not supposed to be. And the cat is fast asleep, stretched out in front of the fireplace, the warmest spot in the house. What about bats? She asked. They don't sleep. Not at night, her parents agreed, but during the day, they fold their wings, tuck their heads, and sleep hanging upside down in the safest place in the barn. Do whales sleep? She asked. Yes. They swim slowly around and around in a large circle in the ocean and sleep. Tiny snails? She asked. They curl up like a cinnamon roll inside their shell. Even grizzly bears? She asked. Bears are mighty sleepers. They make a cozy den under the snow and sleep through the winter. All winter? That's too long, she said. Most animals just sleep through the night, her parents said, tucking her in. I know an animal that sleeps a lot, the little girl told them. What animal is that? Her parents asked. The tiger in the jungle. When he's not hunting, 
He finds some shade, closes his eyes, and sleeps. That way he stays strong. Her parents nodded. Sleep is good for that. Then they kissed her, turned out the light, and stood in the doorway. I'm still not sleepy, she told them. We know, they agreed. You can stay awake all night long. They left her door open a crack. The little girl's bed was warm and cozy, a cocoon of sheets, a nest of blankets. Unlike the dog on the couch, she was right where she was supposed to be. She wriggled down under the covers until she found the warmest spot, like the cat in front of the fire. She folded her arms like the wings of a bat. She circled around like the whale. And the curled up snail. Then she snuggled deep as a bear, the deep sleeping bear. And, like the strong tiger, fell fast asleep. That's it for now, but it's not the last bedtime story that we are going to read together. Bo, Lucy, and I love each and every one of you. We wish you sweet dreams, warm snuggles, and peaceful sleep, and we can't wait to see you back here next time. Good night.